what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today we're going to be actually getting into our handy dandy merge node so this is a very very important node in fact this is probably going to be the most yeah i can almost say this is probably going to be the most used node uh, in fusion and having an understanding of this is going to be paramount to you doing anything regarding video production no pun intended so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the software so as we've learned in our previous video we know that our video clip and it is obviously it gets sent out to the screen into an output and that's what we see here in the top right corner and we know that anytime you're working with nodes or anything like that it becomes a fusion composition unless you have an individual clip like this and then you can bring that into the fusion page as we learned in our last video by right clicking on it and hitting open in fusion page all right so and then the fusion is laying on this clip or you can do it on your fusion clip down here at the bottom as long as you have your clips enabled you can actually see which one you're actually working on here okay so now that we have learned all of that stuff, let's go ahead and timeline. Let's just clear this out. Let's just stick with our fusion composition that we've been working with. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on fusion page here. So now that we have all of that sorted out, what is the merge node? Well, first off, before I jump into nodes, let's just leave the fusion page for a second and let's just talk here for a second. So you guys know that when you put text on a video, it's very easy. You can just bring in text and drag it and drop it on top onto another track, right? All right, cool. Uh, but there are some times at which you're going to need to do some stuff with the text that you just cannot do in the editing page or even in the color page, like some tracking stuff. And you're going to need to have it in Fusion. So I wanted to tell you guys why you need to be putting text in Fusion rather than doing it the easy way so that you guys will understand why we're doing what we're doing and know that it is for a good reason, okay? It is a prerequisite for some other videos and techniques I'm going to show you guys later with Fusion, all right? So I just wanted to knock that one out and get that out the way so you guys understand what we're doing and be like, I'm not trying to make this more difficult for you guys. There is a reason for why I'm teaching it, okay? So let's go ahead and jump back into our software. And here's what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and click on Titles. You can click on text, drag it right on here, okay? And then you're gonna say testing, you know, text, right? Oh, you're like, oh, okay, cool. I just put text on top of my video, so, all right. But again, we're gonna learn later why when we get into 3D tracking, why you can't, you're not gonna wanna do this uh, when you get into more advanced editing stuff. So let me go ahead and show you guys the merge node and how we're going to utilize that merge node in order to be able to put text onto our video clip as you see up here so backspacing that out we're now going to go over here to the fusion page and here we are all right so i know you guys have talked to you guys know that i've talked to you guys and explained what's going on here videos going out to the screen into our output here onto the screen but one, one thing i didn't mention is like i like to think of this as a road trip okay and when you have a road trip you face a lot of challenges. Maybe you'll run out of gas, or maybe you need to take a rest, or maybe you're getting sleepy, or whatever you need a snack, or whatever we have you. So all those things impact your destination, right? It impacts when you're gonna arrive at your destination, how you're gonna feel when you get to your destination, so on and so forth. So the Fusion page is kinda like that. So from point A to point B, you're gonna undergo a lot of things here in the middle that is going to dictate what your output will be when you get to your final destination or final result on the screen, okay? So hope that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to bring in text. So let's go ahead and click on the text here, which is right here. You can just drag it and drop it in like that. Now you probably wonder, well, hey, why is there no text on here? There's no text. Okay. Now, first off, the normal inclination is you're going to assume that text should already be here because you dragged it in. But you got to remember that we have to tell where things connect in and, you know, we got to connect our wires, right? So we got to take our video clip and then connect that into this text somehow. The normal inclination, the normal inclination is to actually take this line right here and drag it and connect it into the text and connect the text output to the screen, right? And then, yeah, that, that is correct. The text is here, so you can say test text, right? You're probably wondering, like, why is it not on top of my video clip? That is because this is where the merge node comes in, okay? And like I said, the merge node is going to be critical to everything you do in fusion because it allows you to put things on top of things okay so right now what we're saying okay like if you really want to be serious like you want to be literal we're saying that take this video clip and take the output of it and put it inside the text because it's on the input portion of the text right and then take that text 
with the video inside of it and put it to the screen. And right now we don't have a mask on the text. So guess what? It can't see the video inside the text literally. So it's literally like in this text right here in this tiny little frame of the word test text. And that's being outputted to the screen right now. So that's what's going on really. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, right? So that's where the merge node comes in, okay? So the merge node will allow you to put things on top of things. So now let's disconnect this by clicking on this little blue arrow to cut our connection here, blue arrow or blue line here, cut our connection here. And then we're gonna bring something in called the merge node, which is actually right here. Okay, you guys see that? So we're gonna go ahead and drag this in and we're gonna put it down here somewhere, okay? And some people for visual purposes, they like to have their, you know, they like to have the merge on top for whatever reason but because they, they can think of that visually like it's putting something on top but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say hey take the video clip and connect it into the merge basically allow stuff to get on top of it and then send that out to the screen okay you guys see that but you're like hey the text is not there yet where's our text um this makes sense we're just basically funneling it through a merge and putting it to the screen Okay. Well, that's where we take the output of our text and we put that into the merge. And voila, now you guys see we have our text here. Okay. So let, let's run that back. Let's let's just let's just let's just rerun that again. So in fact, let's just leave the fusion page. Let's just take a breather for a second and let's just talk. That's a lot, okay? So we said take the video and take this text and merge it on top of the video and then put all that out to the screen that's essentially what we just did the merge always refers to putting things on top of things think of it as stacking think of it as the layer node in the color page all right you guys picking up what i'm putting down now let's go ahead and look at the software with a fresh pair of eyes Going back to our fusion page, boom. Video clip, merge on top, put the text here, send everything out together as one unit on the screen. Text is merged on top of the video clip to the screen. All right, I hope that helps. Or you can even do this, right click on, you can select everything, right click on it, turn it into a group. If that's what you have to do, rename it, text, screen. Once you've done that, now you don't have to think about it anymore. You don't see that as a bunch of numbers and it, keep it simple, right? I'm a big fan of groups, okay? And you can double click on your group and you can see exactly what is going on in here. We say put our text on top of the video clip and take all of that and send it out to the screen. Bob's your uncle. All right. <laughs> now we're cooking with some grease. So let's go ahead and let's end the video right there because I just gave you guys a lot of sauce. Okay. That's a lot of information. That's a lot of fusion concepts in a single video. But I hope, I really do hope that that helps you guys. I try to teach you in like five different ways and approaches. And, you know, that's pretty much the best that I can give you guys with Fusion and how this is coming together and working. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I cannot wait to get into the other complex stuff. As you guys can see, we have some really, really cool things on the, um, you know, on the curriculum here. And I'm excited to get to all of this stuff with you guys. This is going to allow you to make literally Hollywood films in your bedroom. It's going to allow you to make money with editing. I mean, I'm literally teaching you guys ways to make money as a professional editor this is the stuff that people actually pay for because it's really hard to do or it's really time consuming and they'll pay you to do it so i hope you guys found this useful hope you guys are having a wonderful day a wonderful evening and i hope you're having a wonderful year and we'll see you guys in the next video okay you guys take care see ya